Well, let's talk about football. It's been let's a heavy. It's been a heavy day. You know, I don't want to talk about the stuff going on in Pennsylvania. Let's talk about let's talk about football, Seahawks football, and the fact that we had one of our favorite ESPN commentators on, Tim Hasselbeck, to talk about well, what else? The Seahawks quarterback situation, and you can hear the podcast on it. And we've we've actually developed some pretty good perspective on this rock star. We've talked to Kurt Warner about it, uh, Tony Softley, a former NFL uh, a player director, a, a pro player director, and now Tim Hasselbeck, uh, you know, another former quarterback and a guy who's been an analyst now for a good ten years. And we're pretty much getting a consensus on this idea of the the three headed quarterback competition. Bad idea. Period. Nobody likes it. Some more adamant than others. And again, if you listen to Tim Hasselbeck on the podcast. Podcast, you'll see that he's been as direct as anybody in saying this is not a good thing and, and dividing the snaps up three ways isn't going to help anybody. And we asked him, well, when's, when should they make a decision? And he said, spring. I don't think he was kidding when he said that either. I thought maybe he misspoke. I don't know, because it's summer now. <laughs> spring has passed us. And no, I, I think he meant spring, man. <laughs> so he, he talked about getting into that first preseason game, and you can't let it even linger that long. So it, basically talking about you need – First week of camp, second week of camp, most, you need to have this figured out. Now, Pete, again, going back to the conversation we had with him when I asked him, well, in your mind, maybe you're not going to verbalize it, but in your mind you have a date that you need this decision to be made. He said, well, by the first game of the season, the regular season, a joke again. But I, I, nobody, and, and when you've talked about this more than anybody, is that Pete and this organization, they like to go against the grain yeah. and do things their way, and they, they march to the beat of their own drummer, so to speak. But I... I it's not a good idea. It just doesn't feel good. Not to tell Pete how to do his business, but when you hear from that many people and somebody as accomplished as Kurt Warner and you know somebody who analyzes the game like Hasselbeck and Softly is a guy that evaluates talent and did it in the front office for the Rams and Panthers, and nobody seems to be on board with it, right. you don't feel great about You've it. You've made a point a couple of times, though, and, and it seems like a likely scenario, whereas they did this a couple of years back when it was just two guys, when it was Matt Hasselbeck and Charlie Whitehurst, and they were going to have a big competition. I think it was the second day. I don't think it was much more than the second day of training camp. Pete Carroll said, oh, yeah, you know, Matt, Matt's our quarterback. I mean, he's going to be the quarterback. And he hasn't done – he hasn't said anything – yet where he would look bad if he did that. He'd lose credibility with guys. He said there'd be a competition. There's nothing wrong with saying, hey, you know what? After a couple days here, we've kind of realized that it's really these two guys are going to take the lead role. I'm going to hope that that's something we hear. My birthday is August the 3rd. Training camp starts the 28th. I'm going to hope before my birthday it's a two-man competition. <laughs> if not, I'm, I'm going to be worried. Well, to me, it just says, again, we, and we've discussed this before, but if nobody has distinguished themselves by the first preseason, preseason game or the second preseason game, that's a problem. That's a, a huge big problem. problem. I think it's a big problem that doesn't happen in the first five days. Yeah, I, I, this has got to be chopped down to a two-man race in that first week, without question. Come on, Pete. Do it for us. 